So, let's see. We are on the map. Last bridge. I think this was the last bridge here. Because this one, it's kind of a goblin bridge. Not really a true bridge. This one is the, is the bridge. So, we are on the map. Last bridge. We are watching a game between the purple Isengard player Omar Mohamed and against the Pistolero Rohan player the yellow one Rohan pushing capturing the farm here sending also the Hobbit forward watching will be used nice play here as you can see with the with the peasants he's working a bit on the side because he wants these ones to do as much damage as they can also Hobbit throwing some rocks that's not gonna affect a lot but the damage is still there He's making also one more peasant, two more peasants. One will capture the settlement here. He's making also some more peasants from this one because he wants a big army of peasants. Azengar will be able to capture a Lamboy mill here. But the slaughterhouse will be killed. Well, that's surprising. I thought. Did you watch the final tournament? No, I didn't watch the finals of the Ranger Cup. Just played my games and that's it. And can the Hobbit cloak? Hobbit tried to cloak. Nice catch by Rohan. Hobbit cannot cloak, but he's getting level 2. It'll be hard to kill him. It's hard to kill Pistoleros. Hobbit. You can see, you can see how he's moving. And, 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 and. No. Now he will cloak. He will cloak. Look. Look, 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 look. No, he couldn't. What? Okay. It's dead. You know, some peasants killing the Lamborghini. Pretty huge, pretty huge. You can see Rohan is spamming a lot of peasants actually. It's pretty nice. And also Isengard pushed to the Lamborghini. That's also very good. Warchain will be soon back, so Isengard can try to go for a creep. Like he can use Watch and here, send two of them to creep this one, and one can be sent here to try and deal damage to the farm. Just to pressure it a bit, or just like he has, has only two there. He has three. Four, not three. Okay, he's just going straight forward to the second farm. Meanwhile, some Rohirrims will soon join the battle. Workers capturing, killing the wood. Wurchin will be used to kill the farm. So just will not be, Rohir will not be able. To to go and stop it and as you can see he has only two farms outside so Rohirrims are not that cheap they are 540 he doesn't want to go for them because they have Warchant it's pretty hard Hobbit he's trying to cloak he's trying to cloak but he can't they are they have Warchant quite hard to kill them so I mean Isengard has the advantage because he has more control on the map he's also going to creep this goblin layer, which is quite good. He has two Lamborghinis. This Lamborghini was taken down. Stutter House in the Star was taken down. But the Pagmen are just able to get on the field. What's bad about Azekar does it, is that he doesn't really have economy inside his base. As you can see, there is only the Urpit where he, from where he is spamming Pagmen. He's also creeping the player on the, on the left, or also on the right. That's quite good. He's able to capture, so Rohan has zero outside. Settlement. So Rohan needs to make one more farm inside his base so he can have hit him somewhat cheaper from the discount we are here to protect our and get some economy because he cannot really do something about against the pikemen. Uruk's able to to creep. He needs to steal already for the Isengard player. His merchant and industry quite huge. Rohirrim are trying to run around the map trying to creep but at this point, you can just, with the Pagma, you can just right click the Rohirrim and that's it. Rohirrim are gonna catch this, this Ulk, gonna kill the settlement. And Pagma will move on the right side. I mean, you cannot creep with Pagma and Salon, you need also to use Warchant to creep and also to, to use, put them in the Porcupine formation. Warchant a bit late, but that will also work because they will have some damage. Rohirrims will put pressure now. Peasants also to kill the pikemen. The Berserker needs to be called. And as you can see, Rohan is getting the map control back. Quite surprising, right? Old pikemen, 
Not the bonus level to now. The troll. Yeah. I'm not gonna do anything at all, but Kirims are gonna take care of this lumber mill. Well, Pagans are just chilling. I mean, it's okay. Bizakar is to be used to kill this these peasants. And so far, Isengard lost its domination. Rohan needs heal now. Knows it cannot do a lot. There are no thought of Pagmans. He will just go for uh, heal and draft. He will try to go to kill the Pagman by hand, like by uh, Rohirrims or peasants. We'll send these ones to creep this one, but surprise, surprise, there are some Pagmen here. More peasants coming up, two peasants from this one. Quite good. The waterfall. Ooh, there's some crates here. Is there a treasure behind the waterfall? Oh. Right. Let's, let's pay attention. As I'm getting the control back, Lures will be summoned to kill the troll. Berserker will be summoned to kill the peasants. Nice hit by the Berserker. Two in one hit, two in one hit. Quite good, quite good. More peasants. There is a warchant that should be used on this pikeman to kill the peasants. He needs warchant. Warchant was just another way. Uh, where was the warchant? Warchant was just to creep these works. Oh, the Rohirrim will go right into the pikeman? No. It's gonna dodge. And we'll try to not let Isengard creep. We'll try to go around, take. Might even able to to take the farm. Quite good. Isengard, if he's not letting Lourdes. Never mind. Lourdes was not able to kill the player. They are going for a 50 50. Let's see who's gonna take the 50 50. The Pyman are gonna get, take the 50 50. Also the money, it's quite good for Isengard right now. Lourdes will kill some of the peasants. And we have some works on the field. Pagman, where are the works? Okay, works are here. I cannot really chase, kill the Rohirrims right now. So, it is what it is. What is Rohan doing? Rohan, the economy is not looking that great. He has only two Rohirrims on the field. In is this one and this one. No Aguirre has nothing, he's just making some peasants. Peasants was made. We'll move here, probably he's making one more peasant. No, he's not. Ooh. Lourdes. Bam. Oof, imagine. Okay, now Lourdes will deal damage to these ones. Lourdes level 3 already. Yes, Lourdes is level 3. More peasants are being made to try and get. Never mind, I did not see this Legolas. Legolas is level 3. Nice. Don't tell me. Guys, uh, I thought he would wait for another troll to spawn so he would farm levels with Legolas, but this is not the case. Worse, we we'll go for the peasants. See, the this matchup is very interesting because you can make peasants to kill the pikemen. Then the enemy is making works to kill your peasants. Quite interesting. He has three wars and armor inside the base. I'm not a fan of that. You should make like three, two, three wars. He has three wars now on the field. He has three wars on the field. You should delete it and make armory. You don't want that one. Like to have like this. You have only five furnaces. You see, you are missing on some reduction. You see, it's quite expensive. The the upgrades are quite expensive right now, as they are. This Legolas. Legolas needs to go back in. Because the loot is gonna be a problem. There is there are only two power points for the Rohan player. He needs one more to actually get Ooh, Cripple will be used. Cripple. Now. Legolas he got Warchant will be used. They have they have the Warchant effect. And let's see. Knife Fighter will be used for Legolas. He's fighting, he's dealing damage. He will be used. Lourdes used the carnage, but he could not get in. Lourdes could not get in for the Legolas because the wars were in the way. And now he will die. No way. Legolas is still alive. Lourdes died. Really? Lourdes was carnage, but could not get in the way to kill Legolas because the wars 
but I'm blocking him. Dude, that's so unlucky. Okay, full upgrades for the Isanger repair. Not get to the outpost yet. I saw many that are chilling. Now Teodin is here. And Archie range will be built. Before went for upgrades. Pretty good. Ooh, Hulk Strike. Now. Oh, it will be hard. Teodin is here, so now he can try and fight the family melee. Plant will be used to try and chase Legolas. Legolas is pressing the S. Land will be used. Knife Fighter will be used. Land will be used by Isengard player to cover it. Always when you use land as Isengard, it's, it's like a knife that is cutting into ways. This does make sense because this is helping you, but it's also hurting you. Because once you will use rain, units will get leadership back. As you can see, Rohirrim is fighting in melee. Watchy will be used. Late Warchant, by the way. Very late Warchant. Can't he kill? No. No units will be killed. Watchy was just late. They were able to deal, to kill quite a lot of Pagmen. And also level up. Theodin is now level 2. We have level 5 Rohirrim. It are still the starting 2 Rohirrim. He was, he did not lose any Rohirrim now. Quite good. Now, we have 3 wars. What are these wars gonna achieve, I'm wondering. Now he's deleting, delete both of them, and now he's, and he's going for the furnaces, making some towers, 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 full base towers. If you need full base towers, you can make one yes, one not, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, or yes, yes, then no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. I mean, depends how you like. Now the Rohirrims, they are high level, they have full upgrades besides shields. And the leadership, they have constant war chant, like, like, that's how I like to call it, constant war chant, because 40 damage, 50 armor, 50 damage, 50 armor, so not really war chant, but it is a war chant. Five men, full upgrades, also heavy armor on them, deal damage, yes, but what is I think are doing, is just giving Rohan time, against Rohan, you need to try and fight as fast as you can. Because, because you will get Rohirrim archers, and it's quite hard to deal against them because they are mobile and they move, run, hit, run, hit, run, hit, run, hit, run, hit, run, like always. I have sworn to protect the fellowship. Now Legolas is back. I don't think I'm ready to be dead yet. There are some archers that are shooting. I mean, why not? That will do some damage. Legolas, level four. I mean, quite interesting to see Legolas, to be honest. Don't usually see him. It's quite nice. To see some changes. What's chilling? Not doing anything. Also, with Shark here. But now they will get hit hard. Ooh, Hawk Strike. He's not gonna do anything, the Hawk Strike. Theodin is here to give leadership. Knife Fighter. Well. Legolas is not that lucky anymore, I guess. <laughs> he got one shot in, man. Watch a Palantir worse with only Howl was missing there, but he got one shot it basically. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have two combos now. Moving. You can see Rohan is trying to fight for the map control. That's what you want to do. Never give up the map control. This is a Hobbit, not cloaked. And it will get killed. Lourdes going alone. He has the creeper activated, so he's just following Theodin. But now he does wait, wait. My lord is not going the good way. I need to go back. I think he needs to start sieging ASAP. You don't want to give Rohan more time because look, he's getting an harvest on his farms to get into level 3 faster and get more money overall. Not good. Now getting the map, fighting for the map control. There are sort of hit him here or hit him in the back, getting some farms ba back. Now lord is here. Now. The Rohirrim can just start to chase lures to deal damage to him. Ooh, I mean, he will just escape. No need to go even more. You see, it's just buying time. There are three combos. He's not developing at all. He's not doing anything. Straight, quite chill. There are these three wars. They're staying with them grouped. He's fighting with the Rohirrim, not really paying attention. They're not. They're AC here. 
Okay, now they are fighting back. Circle level 2. But they are not fighting this one. He has three wars, they are all chilling. But he's never fighting for this one. Oh, Lourdes. Still, it's fine. Lourdes is fine. This guy is going for Saruman, not, doesn't want to go for Sage. Yet, he wants Saruman first. Wants to be sure. The power points, I think I just need one more power point to go for the Fusing Rain. While Rohan is very behind in the power points. He has uh, Elven Wood and three power points collected. While this guy is close. He's closer to Barlog. Because he needs like one power point freezing and then 20 for Barlog. This guy needs still three power points for for uh, ants and then uh, them for uh, Udi. Cannot really trample, trample these combos because they have Pikemen. Look, <laughs> Howl, Warchant, what are you? not Warchant, but Howl was used, Palantir was used. See, even though Isengard has the advantage here, has the, he's doing everything good, he's losing the map control. Because he didn't push. You do not need Saruman here to fight. You could already start sieging here. You don't need Saruman. Oh, Saruman? Parbol! Nice split here. He pressed X to split the units away. If you select and press X, they will just run in all directions. So it's quite good. So I think is just getting the map control. He has level 3 farm. He has Grand Harvest on these two. So it's quite nice. Which is he's not doing that bad in the resources. I mean, right now, he has, Rohan has more settlements outside than Azingar has, even though the command points Azingar has four times more than <laughs> Rohan has. <laughs> we don't talk about that one. It's about quality, not quantity. I don't know why he's keeping Sarman in the back. And the world's in the base. You have wars, you just send one here, one here, one here. Legolas gets on the field for the third time. Second time when he is revived. Oh. Can you just take the map control. If you don't want to like have wars, split, you don't need to have all the wars together. One can go here, one can go here, can go here, can go here. That's it. I mean, maybe he is scared because he doesn't want to lose. Maybe he doesn't pay attention and he is losing. Maybe he doesn't want to do that, but... Still, you need to fight for the map control. Here you have some pigmen. Send them over here, man. You see, all them in army can send. But now, he's preparing the siege. Alistas will be his choice. The level T farm will go down. When he sees all his army is not there, he's going for attack. Rohan is sniping. Ooh, fireball. He's gonna miss his target. I know he's gonna hit Legolas, but not gonna deal any damage. Hawk strike. Gonna flash up the banner, can I say? How many souls are here? Theodine is level 3, by the way, be careful of him. He will be used. Oh, still, he's gonna cancel it. That's good, that's good, that's good. He cancel it, he cancel it. Now he thinks, oh, there is no more weapon that can be used to control my units. I will go, but no, it's still available. Watch him abused. And. <laughs> he is bullying Legolas. He is bullying Legolas. Would a still nice catch on the Rohirrim archers. Only one. But only one. But still. Not the still, but the words are on point. Look how tempting this hobbit was. Level, level 2. He tanked a lot of arrows. More than Rohirrim archers can tank. Now he's trying to fight. And they will survive. Ooh, the spear. He's trying to go. Elven. Oh. Look how many died in the trample! Look how many died in the trample! Look how many! 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 Look how The game just stopped. Lose got tangled. 